Hello and welcome to 5MI Weekly. Today we'll explore the question of who's thinking the most about sex. A Google search reveals an easy answer to this question. Not only are men the most likely candidates for thinking about sex, but with numbers as high as 12,342 times per day, which works out to a sexual thought every seven seconds, apparently men are thinking about nothing but sex. However, there's one problem with these astronomically high numbers. They're all based upon hearsay. Hmm, I know this is crazy to say, but maybe, just maybe, a question about sex posed on Google might result in an incorrect answer. Scientific investigations into finding out who was thinking the most about sex were first performed in the 1940s by the eminent sex researcher Alfred Kinsey. Kinsey simply asked men and women of all ages, how often do you think about sex? Contemporary studies using Kinsey's method have generally found men to be the ones thinking the most about sex. For example, when Edward Lauman and his colleagues at the University of Chicago posed this question to people across the United States, they found 54% of men and 19% of women answered either every day or several times a day. 43% of men and 67% of women answered a few times a month to a few times a day. And 4% of men and 14% of women answered less than once a month or never. Although studies like Lauman's typically support the hearsay of men thinking more about sex than women. Their results come nowhere near supporting the astronomically high number of times men are supposedly thinking about sex that is consistently reported throughout the internet. Kinsey's method of simply asking people how much they think about sex serves as a starting point to answering this question but Kinsey's method has a significant flaw. And this flaw can be easily demonstrated by asking you a simple question. How many times were you thinking about sex? A week ago Tuesday. Retrospective data doesn't cut the mustard for scientifically valid and real measures of sexual thoughts. If you want to know what someone is really thinking, then you're going to have to ask them about their thoughts in real time. Terry Fisher and her students at the Ohio State University use this exact logic to develop a real measure of people thinking about sex. This real scientific measure came in the form of a golf tally counter. Fisher had three different groups of men and women click their golf tally counters every single time they had a thought about eating, sleeping, or sex for an entire week. Before the study began, all participants completed instruments that measured their levels of erotophilia and social desirability. Fisher found, on average, men had 18.6 thoughts of sex per day and women had 9.9 thoughts of sex per day. Interestingly though, not only did men think more about sex than women, they also thought more about sleeping and eating. Thus, it's not sex per se that's forever on a man's mind, but it's him thinking more about basic physiological drives. Fisher found men ranged in having between one and 388 sexual thoughts per day, and women ranged between 1 and 140. With such high variability, lots of women are having more thoughts about sex than men. 
Therefore, the best predictor of who is having the most thoughts about sex is not going to be based upon whether you're a man or a woman. Instead, the best predictor is based upon a measure of erotophilia, or how comfortable you are with sex. Fisher measured erotophilia using the sexual opinion survey. The higher participants' scores were on the sexual opinion survey, the higher the number of sexual thoughts they reported. You can take the survey yourself by pausing the video right now. After reversing questions 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 21, add up all your responses and your overall score will be between 0 and 126. The higher your overall score is, the more comfortable you are with sexuality. So we've answered our question. Erotophilia is the best predictor of who is thinking the most about sex, regardless of whether you're a man or a woman. However, Fisher found social desirability held women's sexual thoughts back. That is, women with higher social desirability scores recorded fewer sexual thoughts. This result is likely due to negative stereotypes and sex role expectations about women being not overtly sexual, else than being labeled as sluts or whores. So what's this all mean? Well, let's strike down two more human sexuality myths. Men do not think about sex 12,342 times per day, nor are men necessarily more likely than women to be thinking about sex. Instead, the person most likely to be thinking about sex is the person that is most comfortable with their sexuality and the person that is most uninhibited by social mores. That's all the time I have for today. Let me end with a simple question. What are you thinking about right now?